Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Pershing. I haven't played with this tank in a while, so I believe it is about the time to de dust this tank. Once again, you know the drill fellas, if you are curious what kind of equipment I am using or what kind of field modifications I am using, index pages here for you, expectation values for mark of excellence, expectation values for ace equipment setup, YouTube videos, field modifications, everything is there and I believe you are very very well aware of this. Now this tank is rated as a playable in the index page and I think I love this tank very much. I think the tank is absolutely amazing but in the same time um, there is some bad things about the vehicle. For example you cannot really rely on the armor that much and tank is relatively slow but what we are going to do we are going to play some games with a turbo charger today and we will check it out. Is turbo making this tank somehow better? So let's teleport into the first game shall we? And we are back in the game number one. So what do we have? We have a Redshire. Um, we have a winning spawn, at least in my humble opinion, which is very, very good. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to go instantly into the heavy line. So since we are using turbo, I believe our speed should be um, visibly better comparing to um, the situation when we are not using the turbo, right? And I would say this is looking quite interesting over all the Pershing speed if I'm not mistaken is uh, uh, 40 kilometers per hour or 45 kilometers per hour I can't really tell um, I can't remember this but um Speed wise it is looking all right. Uh, speaking about the gun 190 penetration with a standard gun and 1000 shell velocity or close to 1000 shell velocity which is, which is all right. And gold ammunition is definitely amazing on this tank. 240 alpha damage is obviously not epic but um, penetration of 268 is absolutely humongous and it is, and it is absolutely epic. So please keep this in mind and this is definitely the strongest side of this vehicle the gold ammo but still I do not shoot gold ammunition I am with you I completely understand why you are not doing so and you are not forced to but I need to highlight this for a tank strength right um, I need to do that because otherwise it is not going to be nice from my side so for those players who can afford it and who do not mind whatsoever going uh, full ham speaking about the gold ammunition, this tank is pretty much ideal because you are getting extra 250 um, meter shell velocity and in the same time you are getting uh, um, extra penetration. And look at this position where we are playing. We are doing such an amazing job and it is awesome. And this is why am I saying this spawn is winning spawn from this side because you can always get a lot of assisting damage and in the same time you can uh, uh, you can do damage while enemies are crossing and this is very important thing to highlight and important thing to say fellas so please keep this in mind anyways it looks like we are winning this um, battle without bigger problems whatsoever so what do we need to do we need to try to um, approach enemies uh, a bit uh, with a bit uh, of the pressure I would say um, I know our team is winning this side I believe it's uh, relatively clear um, but we still want to defend the base before enemies capture the base this is very important thing to do so skill how are you going to do this actually you know what first of all how about if you would try to beat the living crap out of Renia? This is important thing, we are crafting a nice angle and Rene should be dead. Mr. Rene is going back home, that's very nice. And at this point we are going to fight against our brother from Mother Mother, who is called Super Pershing. And we are Pershing, so which tank is stronger, Standard Pershing or Super Pershing? Tam -tam 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 -tam. Yeah, you spin me around and round and round. <coughs> I know, fellas, I could be a singer. Um, I am very, very well aware of that, but I do not... Um 
want to take a job uh, uh, places from the professional singers if you know what I mean obviously jokes aside uh, um, I believe turbo definitely helped for us in this kind of situation quite heavily I would say definitely did unfortunately I fixed my um, track for free here it wasn't a good idea but I got what I deserved and I am feeling completely fine with all this fellas even though if I am going to get slaughtered here I am not going to cry in the corner for this um, and I am feeling relatively well now oh hello there how are you doing how is your day Wow, enemy Jeff almost slaughtered me. I did not saw that one coming and I did not expect Jeff to be here, but uh, luckily RNG was against this gentleman and uh, um, luckily for us we managed to slaughter him before he slaughtered us. Extra shot to the Esterva S1 and we are a hero of this battle, fellas. Um, 2.7 thousand damage dealt, 1.7 thousand assisting damage. I am pretty sure we should be um, top 2 by experience and maybe even top 2 by the damage so let's see how the things went we did not fire a single gold round in this battle we did everything properly we made quite a bit of pressure and obviously in the end of the game we lost a lot of hit points but it doesn't matter because we are winning the game, don't you think so? So, look at this beauty. First um, battle, Ace Vanker, very, very nice. Um, very much appreciated. 2.7 thousand damage, 1.7 thousand assisting damage. We are first uh, by experience. We are second by the damage, considering we are not top tier. It's very nice. And we made 58,000 profits. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Let's go. Round number two. And we are back. So what do we have? We have once again not the most excellent matchmaking. Um, we have matchmaking on the Overlord against the tier 9s and tier 7s. We are middle tier. Uh, so that means there is some tanks which we can bully and there is some tanks which can bully us. Um, but it is completely fine. Let's use our speed to get into the position. And by the way, one more thing which is definitely worth to highlight about the Pershing is the gun depression. Gun depression of this vehicle is absolutely amazing and I think this tank can be um, quite underrated tank speaking about what this tank is capable of doing right um, the thing is I know not many good players are playing with this vehicle and expectation values for a tank uh, um, are proving that obviously gun is saying now eat kaku watch this this gun is shit this gun is unplayable. I do not understand how people can play with this tank. I simply don't get it. Oh, thank you. Uh, by the looks of it, the tank is behaving better when uh, we are shit talking the tank. When we are saying re for a vehicle and when we are saying tank is horrible. Um, that's quite weird stuff, but this is what World of Tanks is all about, fellas, as wrong as it sounds. Anyways, um, we have 400 blind damage, which is much appreciated and always welcome. And since we are doing against... Ooh... Since we are dealing against the Kerverververon, I was about to load gold, but I don't really think it is necessary because this guy is getting slaughtered by our sniper schnitzels in the back. Um, and once again, this is much appreciated. I am feeling completely fine. Now, Mr. Kerverververon. He's playing very well hold down. I need to give a credit um, for this gentleman for playing in this way. And what do we have and what we will have? We will have the Progetto who will try to cross, well, maybe not cross, but peak like this. Is. If this is going to be the case, we should be able to punish him. But obviously we need to wait until he will uh, try to get a bit involved. Wow. Enemies are getting closer and closer and closer and we have plenty of them here. Huh. Okay, I believe it is about the time to relocate a bit because I am getting paranoid of getting overrun it because there is plenty of ways how enemies can do that like this, like this, like this. Um, and this is just not looking safe for us anymore. So we are relocating just tiny touch. Mm -hmm. Look at this beauty. 
Could have ever run in the open field. We are getting assisting damage. Nice. This is exactly what we want to see. And luckily we have two pigeons in the back who are actually making uh, um, sure they are going to pay attention at the maxi map. And since they are paying attention at the maxi map, that looks pretty good uh, if you would ask me. Luckily we tracked this guy here, but um, unfortunately... It is not giving us that many benefits as I initially thought it will give for us. Anyways, we are saying thanks for our um, tank destroyer. He's truly doing a great job, fellas. We need to appreciate people who are paying humongous attention into the maxi map and who are actually um, making sure they are going to be the living crap out of the enemies whoever is uh, um, making a mistake or two right meanwhile we have curve run action 10 here so we are going to um, be a bit involved i believe boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we have all chances um, to eliminate this guy from the game and we are starting our journey i'm very very well aware of how um how quick this guy is reloading but in the same time i am extremely aware of our uh, sniper schnitzel in the back so he can definitely do some bad things for the enemy meanwhile super hellcat um did not realize that he's exposing his uh, lower plate a bit and that's good for us and we are feeling all right we are feeling all right even though we lost uh, like half of our HP already. Uh, how about a bit different angle for a super Hellcat? I want to check it out. What is the chance this gentleman is sitting still in the same position? Huh? Wait, relax, take it easy. And the chance is pretty big. Meanwhile, unfortunately, I missed the first shot. That's okay. I am afraid I am going to get slaughtered and I am. Uh, bad call. Yeah bad play by me i cannot blame the tank here um because i missed first of all i missed very very important shot which is sad um and second of all progetto simply went uh, like this and he eliminated us from the game once again great play by a progetto unfortunately not so great uh, game by me i cannot blame the tank in this situation i need to accept my responsibility for uh, uh, for misplaying the game so better luck next time and let's teleport into the scoreboard and we are back with a scoreboard unfortunately this is a defeat but i messed up completely myself so what do we have we have 1.4 thousand damage 900 assisting damage um we are a second by experience we are number six by the damage but once again mistakes we are made from my side gg for enemy progetto considering he was down to one shotable right he he did a very good job we made 10,000 credits, which is not ideal. And for the next game, what we are going to do, we are not going to use turbo, we are going to use ventilation. And we will check it out. Um, can this, can we feel a humongous difference while not using turbo? This is the question. Let's go. And we are back with the round number three. So what do we have, fellas? We have... Um quite interesting matchmaking we cannot say it is horrible by any means right we have a tier 8 um, we have tier 8s without any artists whatsoever and speaking about the speed i don't feel big difference i do not feel such a humongous difference speaking about speed my friends hmm very interesting I thought I am going to definitely say, yes, turbo save with this tank and turbo is absolutely amazing. This tank is going faster than the, than the bloody rain is falling from the sky. No, it is not that um, big of a difference, honestly, fellas. It is not that big of a difference. Wow. Okay. Nothing to say, nothing to do. Let's try to um, play like this then. One game like so. Uh, how about the Scorpion? Can we smack this guy in the face? This is the question. Oh, Lorraine, hi. One to Lorraine face, beautiful. And we are not even getting spotted from this. So this is absolutely amazing. Very, very nice. Uh, what I would love to see, I would love to see enemies making a one or another mistake here. And for that, what we need to do, we need to knock this tree down. So he, it is going to um, behave like a camo for us in a way. 
and we want to see the scorpion escaping from his position he is definitely running for his life we are smacking him in the face and he is going back to the garage absolutely amazing okay that's a solid start for our battle fellas i am feeling all right with this we haven't lost any hit points whatsoever we punished enemies a couple of times i mean there is nothing um there is nothing what not to like about this meanwhile we want to knock this tree down um, actually not tree sorry a barn a house however you would call this so now we have a bit different angle for the enemies playing here and that's fine And that's fine, fellas. Uh, can we hit Bizonte in the face? I want to believe we can, or preferably in the ass, right? Good. Bizonte, Sai, Turet, Schnei, Bizonte is dead. Absolutely amazing. Very good. So, now we have a very nice angle. At least I want to believe so. Um, we are... We are obviously focusing to the maximum, we are trying to punish enemies, who, uh, whoever is making one or another mistake in the middle, and once again, this tank works. You can't say this vehicle is absolutely pile of cock or something, in fact, I would say the tank is actually more likely good, not playable. At least it is fitting with my style, but once again, um, not everyone has the same style as I do. And this is truly important thing to highlight, fellas. Not everyone has the same style as I do into the track. Beautiful shot. The gun handling of this vehicle. I remember Pershing as absolutely amazing tank, right? I said that multiple times and I can repeat the same thing. And the gun handling is actually working just great. And in the same time, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind. You can load APCR ammunition aka gold shells and you can make the tank work even better for example there is is6 in the middle of the field here we are peeking sideways and we are smacking him skill do you know you are shooting apcrs absolutely yes that shot supposed to be apcr very nice i am happy fellas i am happy okay Unfortunately, our gentleman got slaughtered. I am speaking about our ELC even, but this is only the start for us. Now, if this Amax Liberty will go through the open field like this, and he should go through the open field, we are smacking him in the side just like so, and he is going back to the garret. Skill, you are spotted. It doesn't really matter. It is not changing absolutely anything for us, um, and, we are, and we are feeling very great here. Plus, on top of that, um, we will try to build a bit different angle for ourselves. I really want to slaughter this cow. It is very important. I know it's sounds um, weird but this is important thing for us to get rid of this cow here okay just like so lorraine how are you doing enjoying yourself um unfortunately i did not manage to find a good angle but that's definitely on me and now we are using this borat um we need to get rid of the borat here okay we want to get rid of the Mr. Borat. Meanwhile, we know where S1 is sitting at. S1 is sitting here in the back, probably here. Actually, more likely here, I would say. That's fine. And we could be a bit more involved here. Plus, on top of that, we have this gentleman in the side, right? So, that's good. Meanwhile, cow. Cow is definitely slaughtered and cow is definitely dead. Meanwhile, um, Hawk is trying to run for his life and he did that successfully. Although, we have a, a situation against Lorraine. Lorraine is trying to get involved to the maximum. I do not really mind too much, even though I see this Hawk trying to flank us. Once again, I don't really care and this guy is dead beautiful very nice very nice fellas hmm. this time can work okay I am feeling great. And you know what is the funny thing, fellas? This vehicle is great even with turbo or without turbo. Obviously, turbo is adding a bit of the, um, a bit of the speed. Um, and speed in World of Tanks is extremely important. But in the same time, without turbo, I don't feel like um, this tank is slow and it is impossible to move. And, uh, you know, the tank is just bad. There, there is some tanks um, which pretty much can't 
be played without turbo. This is not one of those vehicles. And as you can see, if you are aiming, if you are paying attention to what is happening uh, around you, you can do a pretty damn big heavy lifting, fellas. And that's amazing. Okay, can we eliminate the Caliban from the game somehow? If he is going to pull back, there is a humongous chance we are going to pretty much slaughter him, right? That's what we are waiting for. Relax, take it easy, our Caliban is making pressure, enemy Caliban will shit his pants in a moment, and can we eliminate him from the game? No. Mr. Caliban, how are you doing? Now nah, Caliban is dead already. We are going to load the high explosive ammunition specially for S1 because we cannot penetrate S1 without... Uh, if we are going to hit S1, uh, it doesn't really matter. We are going to shoot the standard ammunition or high explosives. We are going to penetrate him. Um, where exactly do I want to hit him? Into the cupola. This is very important part. If we are not hitting him into cupola, we are not going to penetrate him. And that's important thing to say. At this point, we are not stopping by. We are going in front. And probably this S1 is going to um, frame for T and H. At least that's what I want to believe. And if it is going to be the case, we should be easily able to smack him in the face uh, once or twice. Right? As you can see, S1 just fired. That's good. Now we can smack him just like this. We penetrated him with high explosives. He's not feeling happy and he shouldn't be happy. Another in the butt just like this. Now we are showing him a bit of the ass love. Now he is uh, trying to turn for us and it's not changing anything because he is dead. Um, and this is why you are carrying a couple of the high explosive ammunition just because for those situations like this when you know um, you are able to pretty much punish enemies who doesn't have any armor whatsoever. The last shot which we fired was quite bad, but that's my mistake. No one else, just mine. Ergashem Borshik is kind of blocking the enemy and we are eliminating him from the game anyways. Absolutely amazing tank. I think this tank also could be um, quite underrated vehicle in the world of tanks. I always loved Pershing, but I did not expect it, um, since I haven't played with this tank in a year or so, I did not expect that gun handling is so damn awesome on this tank. And I believe you saw um, in this game how this tank can behave. Although, quick highlight, uh, we have very, very skilled crew, right? So this is important thing to highlight as well. Anyways. Ace, um, Ace Wanker, uh, high caliber, confederate, uh, 4.2 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage, absolutely amazing game, and we made 70 thousand profits with a standard tank, it's not even a premium tank, so... In the end of our session, we played with this tank for 2.8 thousand damage and 1.2 thousand assisting damage, and we have solid 4 thousand combined. Call me dirty, uh, call me disgusting, but I think we made this vehicle work uh, pretty well, and I am proud of my result. So. Once again, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you have a Pershing in your garage and it is already rusty, go for a spin. This time can work and I believe you saw that yourself. So thank you very much for watching. This was your daily dose of skill and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.